Remember guys, I'm sponsored by CinchGaming.com. Use promo code TENEC127 for 5% off products at CinchGaming.com. Enjoy the video. Baby, oh baby, gamers and game mess, what is going on? My name is Tenek127. Welcome back to another gamer gaming news video. Now, um, please forgive me. I am sick. I am running a bit of a uh, pretty heavy cold. So uh, if my voice doesn't sound too great, um, please let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll refrain from making videos until this clears up. I got a pretty good immune system, so this kind of stuff gets out of my system within a 24 hour or less time span. But um, I'm, I'm one of those types of guys that, you know, I don't like to, you know, call out of work sick unless you know the boss sends me home so you know I'm gonna try and you know make videos you know but if my voice sounds like you know too bad and you guys you know and it's bothering people or you know I don't sound good let me know I'll take a I'll take a day or two chill from making videos now we back on point but anyway guys that's not the point of this video we are bringing some more let it die ps4 news and as you guys know me being the Andy Wong interrogator boy I um, got some hands on time with the developers and I gotta say hands down to gung-ho and grasshopper these are some free to play developers that will talk to you I have not asked these guys one question that they haven't been able to answer and I'm not gonna be you know that guy to just come out flat out and ask them the release date of, um, of Let It Die because I know that information is concealed. I know they're saving it for a trailer or some type of announcement or stuff like that. So I'm not going to, you know, make these guys spoil that on Twitter. But I do know one thing. The game is still confirmed for a launch of this year. And I'm going to toss that up on the screen right now for you guys to see. I got to speak with Uncle Death himself, the guy that runs the Twitter for Let It Die. So that is awesome news. So first off, yes, the game it has to be coming out soon because we're halfway through November. Thanksgiving is next weekend. That's the end of November, and it comes out in 2016. So sometime between now and December 31st, this game is coming out. But um, anyway, so let's let's talk about something. The main aspect I want to talk about in this video, and you guys see it in the title, so I know you guys are interested. And I'm going to explain it to the best of my ability because it's still kind of confusing to me. But I'm going to break it down as much as I can, read you guys the article, and I'll also leave a link to the article in the description below so you guys can read it and check out for yourself. But today we're going to be talking about Let It Die's PvP system. Now from what I know, there is a um, an invasion type PvP in this game, and there's a competitive like 2 on 2, 3 on 3, 1 on 1 kind of, you know, PvP, like, uh, like you know, competitive competitive kind of deal. And, um, you know, I see all kinds of weaponry in here, swords, bats. Guns, knives, axes, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, you know, we can have some pretty interesting competitive PvP going on in this game. But anyway, guys, screw all that. Let's read the article and, you know, see what we get out of this. So it says, I'm going to start in the middle of it because the introduction is really just, you know, talking about the PvE side of the game more. It says, once you've familiarized yourself with the Tower of Barbs and had a good chance to die a few dozen times, you may start to notice the world around you changing just a little. And in a very literal way, you may become your own worst enemy. Haterfication. Now, guys, keep that in mind. Haterfication is the name of um the uh the PvP concept in here. Like um, you know how you know in Dark Souls you get invaded by a um by a, um an invader or you know a red soul or, you know whatever they're titled titled as. Well, they're titled in here as haterfication. But it says, Haterfication occurs on death, and it's the process by which a player's death data becomes an incredibly deadly AI opponent. These haters can be seen roaming the world with noticeable gamer tags. So, we're going to stop there. That means that, you know, when you die, you create an AI version of yourself to attack other random players in their worlds. That's a crazy thing. Your gamer tag will also be on, on that thing. So, if you know, you die like some legendary badass... Your ghost is going to attack people as a legendary badass. That's pretty cool. But um, it says this should act as both a warning sign to avoid a deadly encounter as well as a beacon of hope for exclusive useful loot. If you can defeat a hater, the process can be rewarding indeed. Haters generated by other players can provide exclusive items, whereas defeating your own hater allows you to return it to your storage freezer as a usable fighter character. That's pretty awesome. Haters provide an exciting challenge and helpful opportunity for resources, but they are just one element of the unique. A synchronous multiplayer experience waiting for players in Let It Die. So there are multiple types of, you know, multiplayer. And I do believe um, 
invading other players' worlds is, uh, is one thing. I saw it mentioned on one of the videos or something. So we have invasions so far. We have this haters, haterfication system. Let's see what else they talk about in here. After progressing through the first few floors of Towers of Bars, players gain access to an insanely creepy robotic NPC, Tetsuo. This clunky, shuffling monstrosity offers players the chance to sign up for a team and start raiding enemy waiting rooms. During a raid, you can steal enemy resources, kill coins in SP Lithium, and accrue points for your team by defeating enemy fighters. Now, I'm guessing, you know, coins and SP Lithium are, you know, currency for, you know, I guess buying items from other NPCs, uh, crafting gear and stuff like that. That's what the SP Lithium sounds like. It sounds like some type of crafting currency or something. That's just what I'm getting off of it, so if, I, if my information's wrong, guys, forgive me. It says there's also a chance that a fighter you've defeated will be knocked unconscious, allowing you to pick them up and drag them back to your base. While captured, enemy fighters will remain trapped in your bathroom and generate a set amount of SP lithium over time. They also become inaccessible to their original user until they pay a set fee or rescue them during a revenge raid. Wow, that is really cool. So, raiding other players... What? Wow. As you... As you and the other members of your team continue to raid waiting rooms individual and individually and defeat other teams, fighters, your team rank will increase. Go for the glory and help your team reach the top of the leaderboard while simultaneously boosting your personal ranking within the team. So how do you defend your own base? First off, make sure your fighters are the best. You've got your own personal meat locker meant for storing fighter bodies, so be sure to buy powerful ones when they become available and go on a few tower, tower runs to beef them up. Earn some EXP, gather up resources, and head back to your base. While enemies come to attack your waiting room, they'll have to deal with the fighters you've set in a good place to defend your goods. This game has a lot of potential for just, you know, long-term play. Like this multiplayer rating and stuff, all these, you know, different experiences you can experience every single time. And not to mention, you know, that, you know, if they bring future content to the game and update it, constantly what wow I'm, I'm, I'm honestly shocked it is important to build up multiple fighters as you go go on your own adventures while leaving your home base well protected just as you're you're able to snag your opponent's resources they can do the same to you upgrading your buffalo bank your kill which is your um, kill coin storage and sp lithium tank will not only allow you to accumulate more resources but it will also increase their hp to allow them to survive longer during raids so okay you raid other players bases by going against their um their AI built uh, soldiers, I guess. That's pretty cool. So I wonder if you know if you go and raid this solo, or if you and a few friends go and do that. That's what I'm wondering now. Finally, if you are starving for resources and reputation, you can send fighters you have in storage out on expeditions. When you do so, they show up in another player's world as a hunter. Like haters, they are quite tricky to defeat. The primary difference is that they will wander your opponent's world for a set amount of time, gathering up all kinds of useful goodies. If they can kill your opponent's fighter, they will also collect SP Lithium. This roaming period lasts until their timer runs out. The enemy hater or the enemy ha ah, the enemy player can defeat the hunter. There is no punishment for having your hunter defeated early, so feel free to send them out as often as you like. Just keep in mind, if they aren't hunting, they aren't protecting your base. And with that, you're ready to start your quest toward infamy. Will you be the one to guide your team to the top of the charts? Climb the Tower of Bars, build your army, and test your metal. This is how we let it die. Now that is a really cool and unique PvP system, and that ain't even all of it. That's not even all of it. That's not even, you know, breaking down the invasions and the competitive PvP side. That's really cool. So there's a actual raid system where you go and raid the bases of other players for, you know, characters that they have actually built up from scratch that are running on a, you know, a difficulty of, like, um... Of like AI invaders and like Dark Souls or something. That is really freaking cool. But I'm going to leave this article down in the description below for you guys. If y'all enjoyed this video and you're excited for Let It Die, be sure to give it a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy Tenek127. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.